What's going on guys? Alpha the Wizard back at it with another video. Today we have me, Alpha the Wizard versus Lundridity. This is just me and my friend testing and without further ado, let's hop right in. We see me, Alpha the Wizard, winning the rock, paper, scissors shoot. And this is 40 versus 43. Opening hand, double angler, foolish, enchantress, beaver kind of awkward um we have petal fairy loki princess and druid worm okay so bisted plants opening hands kind of weird but our opponent has no interruption so let's see how far we can get with this we can add right right plus angler is kind of in crazy because you could just summon two from deck Summon Griffin or add Griffin, pitch Angler, Angler effect, chain Griffin, summon, get two bodies, faithful effect to get Draco back, overlay for gigantic, gigantic effect, summon Guild Dogra, effect, pay 3k. So yeah, this combo is just like very <laughs> interesting. I was trying this when I first picked up Sprite Adventure for the new ban list, and um, I don't know, the combo that I was trying, it actually worked really well. I won a case turning with it. It was pretty cool. We uh, dump Garura to draw a card, and then we just pay 3k again, dump Kakalos, Kakalos mill 3, and honestly, there's so many good mills we can hit with that, which is why I was opting to go that route. And go into Elf, Elf Effects, get Jet. See, in this instance, we hit a Jet, and we had no access to our Sprite Engine, so that was kind of nice hitting that. So now we can just add Smashers and guarantee that. Activate Foolish, Dump Enchantress for follow-up, set to, that would have been nice if we could just dump Angler, but we still have a decent board, because, I mean, I guess we just have Elf, but Elf's not really an interruption, because it don't have Red or Carrot, but having Smashers, plus Super Poly, and Griffin. Oh no, we still have our normal. Okay, so we can normal summon and make IP, and that's even stronger because now we can just pitch Draco back, and add it to the token. Okay, so he brings out Princess in defense. Thinking here, activate Mudon Fairy. Then effect to add. Should I have griffoned at any point? I think I didn't because I was afraid of Mystic Mind. I didn't want to get mined. And I thought maybe I could just stop everything else. So I know he's adding the field spell. Field spell effect. I think we just elf here, right? Bring out angler. IP effect. Is this where we go into a unicorn? Oh, he's chaining a bisted card. Banish Jet, chain another Bistic card, makes sense, get two big bodies, that's kind of actually insane, but it's okay, because now we just go into Unicorn, Unicorn Effect, it's probably going to just spin the Field Spell, right, yeah, spin the Field Spell, Chaining Fairy, wow. Tribute to Griffin. Wow, this, this is so insane. I played right into it too. I think I could have done that differently because I didn't realize. I don't really know the plan deck that well. I mean, I've played against it multiple times and I've won like in tournaments and stuff, but I've also lost to it a fair amount of times. So it's like, I know this deck is insane and I probably should pay more attention to it, but like, I thought maybe hitting the field spell would be correct. But he, it didn't matter because he had a negate. They could just tribute my negate. I should have just negated. I probably should have negated way earlier, to be honest. But we still get Draco back to equipped. Battle phase. Activate Smashers. Hit the field spell this time. 
Faithful Protect. And I feel like we might not be in a terrible spot. We're not in a terrible spot. Oh, he still has a normal summon. Is that right? Or did he already normal? I thought he already normal, didn't he? No, I guess he didn't. He's special. Okay. And then effect. But why didn't he do... Unless he just didn't want to play in the Smashers. Why he didn't do it in main one? Now he's just going to try to go full combo. We do still have super poly. That might come up. Now he just goes into the Dinsepione. <laughs> Activate the effect. Mill 3 hits no plants to summon. Go into dark. He's not locked in plants. Doesn't one of these cards lock you? I can't remember which card it is in this deck that locks you into plants. So he's going to, okay, take IP in phase. Um, yeah, this is very awkward because now we can't even super poly. It'd be nice if we have Mud Dragon. Maybe that's an idea for the future side, Garura and Mud Dragon, because Mud Dragon has like probably just amount of same good targets that Garura has. It's probably worth to play them both, especially right now with Bisted coming out. Yeah, we just lose that game, so let's see if we can win games two and three. Activate starter. He does have Valor. Activate blue. Blue effect to search. Our hand is pretty decent. We have two hand traps plus jet, gamma burst, and blue. Opponent only has one hand trap. He does have called by for like my or his turn when I have elf. So that's not terrible. Plus he has a bisted card for an interruption. I mean Valor, Bisted, that's that's decent. Like But he does have Loki the best starter. So we're gonna summon Jet jet effect we always summon the red before the jet not to protect the gigantic but to protect and guarantee smashers so we want to guarantee the smashers because smashers is very important because he could have just valored that if i didn't summon red and it would have cut me off of smashers gigantic he's gonna valor that now we just go into sprint this is where the combos line change because sprint is actually kind of insane now we can dump angler angler can summon two bodies and we can just keep going right now his bistic card is live because we have three darks Going to Elf, Elf Effect to revive, get red. He's not going to activate the Bisted card. Huh. So now we just set Smashers, set Imperm, set Gamma Burst, have Ash in hand, pass turn. Draws Glamour. Okay. Um, his hand's actually not terrible. Activate, target gigantic, which is fine. End of main, um, big thinking. He goes to attack elf. We chain gamma burst. You know, maybe it was probably better to just smashers this, I'll get rid of my sprint. But at the same time, I'm so hesitant on using smashers just because of Mystic Mine. Like, I don't want to lose to mine. So, this is like one of my outs. So, I always have that in the back of my head when I'm debating what to use. And I'm just like, well, why wouldn't I just Gamma Burst? I actually like Gamma Burst, like, in this deck if built properly. It gives you another search target off a of jet. I actually hated this card at first, but now it's actually pretty decent. 
But yeah, so he's going to go on um, Druid Worm Effect, and he's going to send one to the grave. Target Elf, and he's going to Normal Summon the Loki. And he goes into the other plant guy, and this, yep, that just runs into Imperm. Activate that. We do have Ash. Sets Called By. Decides not to use Called By on Ash. Interesting. Draw right. That's actually an insane draw because we haven't even started our adventure engine. Game three. We're going to get to see Lundridity go first. Opening hand, he has Loki, Valor, one for one. Twin and Mudan. Okay, so his hand is very strong. He has one hand trap plus all starters. Sorry for the toolbar. And in my hand, we have Blue Jet, Pixies, Temple, and Super Poly. So this is very interesting. Super Poly might come in clutch right now with Enchantress as a pitch. So we're going to get to see our opponent go full combo. <laughs> Will we be able to crack this board with a super poly? Let's see. Bring out the low key. Activate effect. Summon another. Wait. Not that. And then we go these two into this one. We got Jasmine. If your life points are higher than your opponents, this card and any plant monster can be destroyed by battle. Tribute a card, discard points to special summon a plant from your deck in defense position. So, yeah, that's actually kind of clean. I don't know what a lot of these cards do. I just know, like, or have, like, instinct on where to interrupt it. So he brings out Lone Fire Blossom. Lone Fire Effect. It's going to summon... The pedal, pedal effect to search or send. And then he goes into the other link. To, oh, this is the link three. Special with Sunseed. And this is the bounce. Why did he send? Oh, because of this. Summon two bodies. Our opponent has drawn full combo. Add the field spell, field spell effect, set the trap. Oh, the nope. Yep, set this one, not the trap. Okay. One for one, pitch twin. Bring out another pedal. Activate effect, tribute. Get a princess to have an interruption and a fairy for follow up. Or, I'm sorry. Oh, he does more here. I don't really know these combos to be honest, so I just automatically assume he's just like playing a save. <laughs> but get Lone Fire. These go into the other one. It looks like the Super Poly is going to go pretty hard here, not going to lie. Wow. No way. He played in the Super Poly. That is actually insane. Like, how? How did he play in the Super Poly like that? He played right into it. Lun is a really good player. Like, I give I give a lot of respect. Like, I give respect to Lun. Like, but wow. He probably didn't think about Super Poly, though. I don't know. Or maybe... I don't know. Go into Garura. Activate Temple. Now we can start our adventure combos. Our hand is insane. We got Griffin. We discard. Activate Griffin. Probably get Draco back. Yes. Now we have all of our sprite plays. And I think think our opponent they do not have a dark so it's just gonna say we can link this off but we could still just link it off for elf or he's just gonna balance it and that's fine because now we can just start these plays 
and the opponent admits defeat. GG's. But yeah, that was a very interesting game. Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comments down below, you know, what you thought about this match or, you know, if I should keep doing like the testing videos against like, you know, my testing partners and people that I like play. Um, because I don't know, I feel like just breaking down testing, it's already testing. So you're trying to play like, you know, at the next level while you're testing and you know, breaking down the little intricacies where you've messed up or what you could have done different. I feel like it just helps everybody. But yeah, so make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe down below. This is Alpha the Wizard signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Shout out DB Grinder. Had to steal that line one time for the one time.